All right, folks, just want to do a uh, video on a new battery charger that uh, just came in the mail today. Very excited about this battery charger. It's a Fox Novo, I think is how you say that. Um, I had never heard of this brand before, and uh, on one of my other videos where I was complaining about some batteries that I bought, uh, one of the viewers made some comments about this, this uh, charger. And a particular capability that it has where it can tell you how many... Uh, MAH or milliamp hours that uh, you have in a battery by doing a um, decharge or a uh, uh, running all the current out of the battery and then uh, telling how, how long it took and somehow it measures it. So anyhow, I'm very excited about this. Um, I don't have very high hopes though. I could not find a lot of information about this charger. It doesn't come with a manual. And uh, like here are some instructions. If don't plug in, LCD shows nothing. But who knows, right? It might be great. It's made in China, which is something <laughs> that uh, we got to be worried about, but almost everything is these days. And it says right on here that it is UL certified or UL approved. So uh, that should be good. Um, has some other chargers, and I think I've done videos on these in the past. The XTAR uh, VP1 is a great charger. Love this thing. And then I uh, picked this up on a recommendation from a buddy, the Lacrosse Technology. This is what I use for my double A's. Triple A's, I use this for all my lithium ion batteries. So, all right, well, let's get this box open and uh, get set up and we'll be right back. All right, we're back. Um, take a quick look at this. It's about four inches wide by old, if that's 20 and that goes down to about six inches high. Um, I don't know if you guys can read the output. Right now it's registering null and it says it's in charging mode and it will be charging at 0.5 uh, amps per hour. So, what I want to do is I want to test this thing out and see how well it works. And we're going to use these N-loop batteries. These are AA batteries. And uh, they're actually uh, marked on here as 1900 milliamps per hour, which I think is quite a lot to expect from this battery. But, uh, you know, what do I know? So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to turn this back on to lit up mode. We're going to put these batteries on. We're going to switch to capacity mode so we can measure the capacity. In order to do that, what this charger is going to do is going to charge these batteries fully. It's going to make a sound, and then I'm supposed to push some buttons. It's only got one button, so it shouldn't be too hard for, for me to figure out. Um, and it will drain these batteries. It'll make another sound, and then we'll recharge them, and then we will have the capacity. The true capacity of these batteries. This is kind of hard to do from this position. But it says once you put these batteries in, it'll in instantly register them. And there it is, it's showing uh, 1.3, 1.1 volts, give or take for these batteries. And maybe I'm supposed to set the mode first before I put them in. Yeah, I think I screwed that up. So let's just do that one more time and pretend that never happened. Okay, now we're in capacity mode. Let's go ahead and drop these bad boys in. These are all right out of my scanner, so they should be at relatively same level. So it's all saying they're registering at about 1.3. Um, so let's let these things charge, and I will come back once uh, they're fully charged and we do we move on to the next step. All right, folks, we're back. It just made a beeping noise. So these are uh, all at 1.4, 1.39. I wonder if I hit this button, what's going to happen? You guys, I don't know if you can see that on there. Without when, when I light it up, you can't. The problem is I can't see it when it's not lit up. <laughs> but it looks like it's still charging, even though it made the noise that they that they were finished. Hmm, that's kind of odd. When I hit this button, it doesn't start draining them. So let me uh, let me take a look at this and see if I can figure it out, and I'll be back. All right, I think I figured it out. I'm not the cleverest, but if you take a look at this, the one all the way over on the right, you can see that the charge lights for the battery are going down, not up like the other ones. And so when it beeped, that meant that this one was done, and now it's starting to drain or it's starting to uh, 
decharge, for lack of a better word, that battery to, to begin the process of measuring its capacity. These batteries here, these three are still charging. So that's it. I'll give you an update a little bit later. All right, folks. Just wanted to uh, let everybody know how this ended up. I'm not real sure if that's going to come across or not. But uh, anyhow, we put these batteries in. <clears throat> they charged them to capacity. They drained all the energy out of them, measured that, and then filled them back up. And uh, we got, oh, sorry about that. We got, um, remember, they're rated at 1,900 milliamps per hour. This one is uh, 1808, 1833, 1847, 1463. And so it looks like this one might be the one that's been giving me a little bit of grief. Not a big deal. Uh, I still think that that's a pretty, pretty decent charge for a uh, for a double A battery. But anyhow, ran the, ran the charger through this test. Um, the charger seemed to perform pretty well. It got it got warm a couple of times, but it didn't get to where I was con concerned enough to unplug it. Um, so we're going to try it out with some lithium ion batteries and see how that goes. But uh, so far, very happy. I can. I can uh, charge all kinds of batteries with this charger, and it uh, looks like it's going to stay around. All right, well, that's it. Thanks, everybody.